Welcome to Dr. Jester Runs, and I'm gonna rant about more later than the bow. Fucking shit. Well, this is from Bound into Comics. Netflix partners with radical activist and Miss Marvel head writer Bish KLA for Diversity and Inclusion Fellowship. What in the actual fuck is this unfuckable land whale? What in the fuck is this? Do I actually have to look at this monster for this article? Fuck me, dude! Couldn't you find a pretty lady with very large boobies for me to stare at the hell? You actually have to go and show me an article with an ugly, ugly, unfuckable, and nightmarish, and eldritch, eldritch-like monster out of Cthulhu! In, or out of Lovecraft imagination, on a Cthulhu monster or something like that. Either way, she is absolutely unfuckable. Anyway, Netflix vice president of UK original series Anna, uh, Anna Mensa and chief content officer of Sky Studios Janie Milley Chip recently announced a partnership with radical activist and Ms. Marvel Head writer Bish, Bisha, Bish, Bish, for a year-long diversity and inclusion fellowship. When Ali was announced as the writer of Miss Marvel back in August 2019, she immediately what the fuck? Immediately deleted 5,000 tweets. Of course, of course she did because she was afraid of getting cancelled and people looking at her. Which let me, let me say let me say this: people usually have a lot of skeletons in their closet. It just needs somebody dedicated enough to go and look it. And then show in the face how hypocritical these people are. But I digress. That's just conjecture. Anyway, and profited a number of her social media accounts, of course. However, Bound into Comics discovered that on her tweet on her Facebook page, where she used the pseudonym, the pseudonym B Canval, she posted a number of heinous and radical comments. Oh Jesus Christ, I'm afraid of reading them. Because not because I personally am afraid. I'm a, I'm actually afraid because of what YouTube may do to me. Because you know how YouTube operates. YouTube is a radical little shit show of a platform. Anyway, however, bound into company in one she wrote. Let let me read this first before I say it out loud. Uh, uh, I believe women can send forward to the... No, I need to make her voice. The voice of a land wave. Who? Who believe women can censor to go and rebuild in the ugly capitalist utopia of science and art and compassion? I think we're all striving for. <laughs> Let's see. Um, na, 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 na. Nah, I believe in the. Oh, uh, I believe we can trump our hearts. I believe we can both. Oh, 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 can we do an internet conspiracy for men? <laughs> we got a last buddy up with one throw leech and take them under violent threats to themselves. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And in another, she accused critics of st STD. You know, the actual Star Trek where it's as bad as an STD. It burns when you watch it, it kills your neurons. And it makes you wish that you were dead. You know, actual bad Star Trek. The Star Trek where Star Trek needs to be cancelled. The show that makes me, for fuck's sake, cancel this already. Star Trek Discovery. You know, even Star Trek Enterprise, which had its uh, moments where it made you think, what? It was a great show, especially compared to this shit that is Star Trek Discovery. 
This is bullshit. Cancel Star Trek Discovery already. It's a crappy show. Stop murdering my hobbies. <sighs> anyway, where was I? Uh, uh, let's see. Um. Along the races, we sorted this what upset that, this, that Star Trek Discovery has too many walkies, walkies, walkies in it. <laughs> Let's see. Little shout out here for the angry races misogynists who are upset the Star Trek Discovery has too many walkies in it. <laughs> mm, this is a feminazi Hollywood ruining Star Trek. <laughs> Literally a show set in a future where humanity has come together to explore your world <laughs> and discriminate against white males. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the reason we don't have actual Star Trek yet, right? <laughs> it's because of white males. <laughs> Nevertheless, Netflix is teaming up with Ali and Sky in order to make the shows. <sighs> the shows that reflect the world in which we live and develop a more inclusive problem of creatives across the production values, providing those from all backgrounds. Reason to aspire. Mm. Ah, fuck this. Fuck this. Fuck Netflix. Uh, claims through diversity in our industry is all about who get those stories, who has agency in decision making. God, fuck that. To the end. Uh, to that end, they have created a year-long screenwriters fellowship for six outstanding uh, right outstanding writers. This land rail is an outstanding writer. Well, let me put it this way. If that makes it an outstanding writer, I am a godlike creature in writing. This program will include first-hand experience inside the writer's room of a Netflix or Sky Commission series, ongoing mentorship support for the member of the Netflix or Sky Commissioning teams once the program ends, the opportunity to develop a shadow script alongside the writers and producers on set, and a full bursary paid for the duration of the fellowship. Netflix Anamensa and no, Annie Mensa revealed on Twitter that the bursary is £22,000 and the headline for application is June 18, 2021. Hmm, can I apply? You know, I may look like a white male with Jewish ancestry and support for the civilized world, so I'll probably be shut down quite fast. Uh, let's see. Uh, Netflix specifically states we want to give an opportunity to those from black, Asian, and other racial and ethnic backgrounds currently underrepresented in the film television industry. So, are you going to give uh, gingers representation because they are currently underrepresented in the film and television industry? Because let's face it, who the fuck is overly represented on all of this? I can't point out to a very specific demographic that is actually overly represented to the point that makes me think, what in the actual fuck? Look at that. There you go. Look at this. Black washing. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, these are all the people who got. Yes, those are all the people who got black washed. That were once white, probably Asian, but mostly white, and definitely gingers. Like Jamie Olsen that you just saw over here. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Look at the massive list. I still have yet to add the Superman animated series over here because I still need the name of the actor for it to show up here. But look at this, uh, look at this, uh, look at this, look at all of this. And these are the, the last one is for 
Gazelle Kingsman, and there's the ancient one. I forgot to actually add the year, but either way, this is the most notorious one where they actually had to do it because <clears throat> it was an actual Nepalese male, a node, a node dude from Nepal, but since they wanted to cash in on China, they had to recast the old ancient Nepalese dude into a white woman to be able to cash in money on China. That's the only reason they did it. Isn't it sad how things work or are in these in this industry with the lies and lies and more lies? Ah, let's go. Let's get back. Anyway, Netflix states we want to give an opportunity to level right now. Ali would echo that on Twitter, she wrote. <laughs> this year of the fellowship speaks. No, six applications from UK writers who are black. <laughs> Asians and from other ethnic or racial backgrounds. <laughs> Whether I want to represent the IM TV and film again, I'll be from the side. Happy applying. <laughs> God damn it, these people never learn. How much money do they actually have to piss away for them to realize that this doesn't work? Hire the best people you can find, regardless of the skin color, regardless of what they carry between their legs, regardless of who they choose to sleep with. Why is it so hard for these imbeciles to understand? It's, it's not that hard, it's quite simple, and it's, um, it's what it should be. It eliminates discrimination, it uh, eliminates any type of problems. And, and, you get the best. The good shows when people used to hire the best writers are... Yeah, no, long since gone. And now we get crap written by unfuckable land whales. I mean, Jesus Christ. The smell she must enact. Ugh. Anyway, I have a tendency to mock people even by the looks. Hey! I used to be a land whale too. The only difference is that I could have been quite a fuckable land whale. But trust me, when you're a land whale, this smells you emit are not nice. Mm -mm. I, uh, trust me, I was one. <clears throat> if you check my earlier videos, but I still showed some images, images of myself before my gastric bypass. Uh, it's probably some videos in 2017, you're still gonna find me even looking like one. And trust me, it's not nice. Trust, uh, <clears throat> the smells you emit, the, the unfuckability you look. It, it's not good. And yet, and yet... You. Why do I keep staring at this? It's kind of like a train wreck. Yeah, definitely. It's kind of like a train wreck or something like that, where you look at the person and you... Ew. Kind of when you used to... when I used to look like that. But still, I think I was more fuckable than she did. <laughs> either way, thank you for... no, 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 no. Don't forget to like, share, to like, share and subscribe, hit the notification bell button. And fuck you, youtube.com forward slash Dr. Chester. And if you like spicy, different type of content and exclusive content, head to bitchute.com forward slash to Chester or minds.com forward slash to Chester for exclusivity and exclusive stuff. So, thank you for watching and have a very good night. Oh, shit. Ah, there you go. I forgot the, the USB card for... Um, we lo I lost power today, in the morning, very early in the morning, and the USB card did not flush properly, and so I don't have as access to my M MFD thingies, which I use, so I got confused. Either way, thank you for watching, have a very good night. Mm -hmm.